Um, I want you to use your right hand and, and to show me how to pretend you're blowing out a match. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. How about if you wanted to peel a potato and you were holding the knife with your right hand? Um, it's not difficult. I'm, I just went out of the hand. Okay. Just because you're a lefty. Yeah, yep. right. I'm just making you do it with your right hand. No, it's mean. It's mean. <laughs> Cruel. Yes. <laughs> Don't mean to be. Um, how about brushing your teeth? Good. <laughs> uh, show me how you'd hold a hammer to, to hammer a nail. Okay. How about dialing the telephone? Okay. Writing with a pen. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right. How about if you wanted to use a key to open a door? What would that look like? Mm. Try. You can just do it here a little bit so I can see. So um. you're unlocking a door with a key. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try Let's over see. here. Okay. Unlocking a key with a door. Door. Mm. Door with a key. Okay. All right. Let's go on to okay. the next one. <laughs> Use your right hand to wave goodbye. <coughs> okay. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. um, snap your right fingers. Good. <laughs> How about if you were hitchhiking with your right hand? Okay. <laughs> Salute like a soldier. Oh, perfect. I think you could be in the army. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> How would you signal traffic to stop with your right hand? I don't know. I uh, would do it. <laughs> That's the one you have trouble with. You okay. don't know. But say, say stop. You're right now. Not sure? How would you do it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go on to the next one. That's fine. How would you blow a kiss to your daughter with your right hand? <laughs> so you're blowing a kiss. Okay. How would you signal quiet? with your right hand if you wanted to tell people to be quiet. Good. Good. Can you make a V for victory? Good. Can you put your right hand on your left shoulder? Good. Could you put your right fist on your chest? Could you put your right palm on your forehead? Could you put your right fingertips on your chin? Could you point to your forehead? Could you point to your nose? Could you make a circle in the air with your right hand? Okay. Very good. All right. Until his stroke, Charles Landry had a thriving legal practice. At age 45, a blood clot cut off circulation to part of his brain and put an end to his professional career. At the heart of practicing law is a facility for language. Landry's stroke affected both his ability to understand language and his ability to express himself. Contingent reminder is uh, s sell it, sign it, deliver it, or anything. Uh, subject to the contingency. Oh, boy. When we talk about language difficulties, we mean problems with either grammar or the choice of words. And if you were listening to him, someone might say, well, his grammar's all right, and even though he takes a long time to find the words, he tends to find them. His difficulties are really all mechanical ones. Uh, he's slow, he's got trouble getting going, but uh, none of this is really language disturbance. Well, I think that problem gets resolved very quickly when we start to examine his, his understanding of language. Do you ever have any trouble with what I say? No. Understanding it? No. no. 
Uh, well, suppose you wanted to communicate with a person yeah. who was in a distant city. What apparatus would you utilize? Telephone. Very good. All right. And I deliberately made that a, sort of a curious sentence just to show how well you did. All right. Now let me ask you, do dogs fly? No. No. <laughs> and how about this? Do submarines usually fly? No. Mm -hmm. How about a Zeppelin? Can a Zeppelin fly? Yes. All right. Okay. I couldn't make the question complicated enough in terms of the uh, fanciness of the vocabulary to throw him off. Uh, he immediately understood. And yet, when I produced a sentence that most of us would have thought was about as easy an English phrase as you could uh, create, uh, he failed totally. Do you know what a leopard is? Yeah. you know what a lion is? Yes. Right. So the leopard was killed by the lion. Which animal died? I don't know. Um, That's hard, is it? No, no, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what animal died? I don't know. You don't know what animal died? Right. Obviously, that's got to be an error in, in understanding the grammar. Now, what, there's a very easy way to understand it. Because if you think of those sentences with the grammatical words removed and try to figure out their meaning, you would have the same problem. Landry hears all the sounds of the grammatical words, but in his brain, the sentence is processed something like this. He understands only nouns and verbs. This pattern of having this special kind of understanding difficulty, uh, which is confined almost exclusively to these little words, to the grammatical words, and to the endings, uh, is something that we find very frequently in the, uh, in the patient who's got damage to Broca's area. So the thing that's so perplexing in Mr. Landry is that he doesn't have this difficulty in spontaneous speech, he doesn't have this difficulty in repetition, but when we come to the comprehension tests, he has this difficulty in the most dramatic fashion. And if I said to you again, right, that's my uncle's sister, would that be a man or a woman? I don't know, uh, because 